people my name is md90 welcome to my youtube channel if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification to all so you do not miss the uploads that come up and uh, the easiest way for you, for you to navigate the channel is to head to the playlist you'll find videos created for you based on your interest so if you're interested in the kutika podcast you'll find a playlist for that for news and trends there's a place for that exclusive exclusive with md90 a bunch of uh plays that are created based on your interest so the easiest way to navigate the channel is head straight to the playlist and you'll find what you're here for. Now consider becoming a member of the channel. Uh, right next to the subscribe button is a join button. You click on the join button uh, so that you can become a member of the channel. Uh, you support the team on the production and the number of things that we're doing here. And uh, we appreciate that. Well, Sylvia has said, well, seems not to be catching a break. Ever since uh, that news broke with regard to that medication that was uh, found or discovered, uh, stored in the private um, company's uh, storage place. So different uh, sections of society have been having a conversation over transfer and not firing. And this has been an update uh, since President Naga uh, announced uh, last night that he had transferred uh, from uh, Ministry of Health uh, to Ministry of uh, uh, Lands and Natural Resources. So this has been an update. This was from yesterday. I thought the man at the bottom there, that's a new Minister of Health there. Uh, Mausamba, this to say, I listen to various morning uh, radio calls, uh, co uh, call programs. All the people are crying for is firing of uh, a minister or ministers and replace them with back uh, benches, MPs uh, from the UPND back benches. Mr. President, Give the people what they want. Uh, most ministers indeed not performing. So Mao Sampa doubles down to say he was listening to most of the radio programs uh, this morning and most of the callers uh, among us, the citizenry, were calling in to say uh, this thing of uh, the president uh, shuffling ministers when they are underperforming or incompetent or uh, uh, battling uh, allegations of uh, corruption. It's not looking good. Uh, people are supposed to be fired when uh, <clears throat> found wanting. That is Mao Sampa there. Uh, this individual also says, uh, people you cannot fire today, uh, they will get you fired one day. So simply doubling down to say, if President Haka in the is not able to fire his people, these ministers, eventually the Zambian uh, citizen will decide in 2026 to fire him instead. That's what that says. Another person that has weighed in, this is Edgar Chagalungu. He put up a post. So uh, in January 10th, 2021, President Daka had said something um, which Edgar Lungu has reposted and uh, asked the question. If you remember, Chitaru Shufia was fired by Edgar Lungu when he was alleged to be involved in some corruption cases. And then later on, I think it should have been uh, 2022 when he was found innocent of those charges. Uh, but at the time, Edgar Lungu fired him because of the allegations that uh, were leveled against Chitarit Shofia. So Edgar Lungu posted this a couple of hours ago. He says, uh, good afternoon, fellow citizen. So this is the caption from uh, President Haga in the HDMA, which Edgar Lungu had, uh, attached to his article. So that's the one that you saw on screen at the bottom there. So he copied the same post and then wrote this. So this was posted by President Haga in the HDMA in 2021, which Edgar Lungu quoted. So good afternoon, fellow citizens. On January 10th, uh, 2021, then opposition leader and now President Haga in the posted the message below on his Facebook page. Um, the sacking of Dr. Chitaru Shufia does not uh, go far enough and it comes uh, too little too late. Mr. Edgar Chagalungu knew all along about Chitaru Shufia's corrupt activities at Ministry of Health but did not uh, relieve him of his duties because uh, he benefited him and his entire patriotic front. He did not have, uh, uh, he did not have to wait for the Parliamentary Public Accounts Committee to unearth something that was uh, obvious. We therefore demand that the Anti-Corruption Commission immediately move in on uh, Dr. Chitaru Chilufia. Mr. Edgar Lungu should go further and fire Stephen Kambiongo and Kakoma Kaganja who are equally uh, culpable, uh, like Dr. Chitaru Shufia, in the deaths of an uh, innocent citizen. We demand justice for, uh, for the Zambian uh, people now. HH, aka Bari, time for change. So that was the message that came from Haka in the at the time. Then today, Edgar Lungu quoted that message and says, uh, fellow citizens, 
This is July 2024. This is now Edgar Lungu speaking after he had quoted Daga in the HTML. He says, uh, fellow citizens, uh, this is uh, July 2024. We have uh, uh, heard and seen reports of massive corruption and evidenced in the Financial Intelligence Center report whistleblower. The Parliamentary Accounts Committee reports involving his own ministers and other appointees. Uh, we, are, we are anxiously waiting for the president to walk his own um, talk following these uh, revelations. What was good then uh, in his eyes uh, should be good now in these same eyes. May God bless Zambia and restore the rule of law sooner than later. Uh, His Excellency, that's him captioning it, uh, Dr. Edgar Chagalungu, 60th uh, President of Zambia, Patriotic Front, uh, Party President, UCA Alliance member. So that's uh, <clears throat> the issue that Edgar Lungu had to cut Aka in the Itlema on. And uh, another news that is... Uh, <laughs> seems to be dominating is uh, today the courts have been busy. A number of people have been uh, convicted and uh, stuff. So these are the nine MPs that were expelled from parliament. If you remember that incident where Mausamba had expelled some MPs, but then I rescinded his decision. That debate that is in court pretty much. But right now, they've been reinstated back in parliament as the court proceedings still continue. But there are, some of the people you see on screen still had uh, court cases pending. And one of them is the, this man here, Nixon Chilangwa. He had other court cases, and then uh, the convictions have come through today. And not only him, but also Chitotela, also another conviction has come through with regard to that uh, court case that he, he's been having. So the UPND posted Chilangwa sentenced to five years imprisonment with uh, hard labor for malicious damage to property. So this is one of the sentences that has been handed over to... Uh, Mr. Nixon Chilangwa. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Nixon Chilangwa here. And uh, what else was, was reported today? Uh, Chitote are committed to high court for sentencing as Arsenal carries a minimum of um, 10 years imprisonment with hard labor. So the other person uh, who's this man here, Chitote uh, the magistrate court says the, the, the sentence could not be handed over to by, by them because, because it exceeded 10 years minimum sentence, so he's been elevated to the high court. So his sentence is yet to be handed over, but Shang was has been sentenced by that. With that, uh, and then other people, Kunda Chitotela and um, uh, Chabu Chitotela, have also been committed to the high court for sentencing. So th those are the updates. Kawamba Town Council Chairperson, Kalumbe Chifumbe, and David uh, Kaniki are uh, also ten sentenced to five years with hard labor. So the courts were busy today. <laughs> and then there's a video that has surfaced of Kampiongo and uh, Shitote singing, saying, Milandu wale wo, wale panga kare, wale kwerera, nombo yu wale tawala, wala kulonga. Let me see if I can find the video and then just show you guys so that you can see what's going on with regard to that. Uh, and then there is a caption to say how times change <laughs> when, when you are out of power, things change. So this is the video that is captioned there. Just stand by as I try to get the video for you guys. <laughs> Emila Nuale Panga Shonse Vale Quede Lae Nomboyu Aleta Wazambia. <laughs> so uh, this was captioned by QFM saying times move. Ah, and then they, they sigh there uh, to say, uh, look at the, what they were saying has caught up with them. So the full update from courts is this. This was posted by the United Party for National Development, uh, Zambia, the page. They say, a minimum of 10 years imprisonment with hard labor awaits Chitotela as he is committed to the High Court for sentencing for arson. This is uh, July 22nd, 2024. Uh, Kawambo, uh, Kawambo Magistrate Court this morning committed but uh, PF Pembeshe Member of Parliament, Ronald Chitotela, to the High Court for sentencing after finding him guilty of the offense of arson. The magistrate court could not sentence Mr. Chitotela as the charge of arson attracts a minimum of 10 years imprisonment 
uh, which falls above the threshold of the magistrate court and has, um, has to be referred to the high court. The court has further sentenced uh, Kawamba, member of parliament, Nixon Chilanga, to five years imprisonment with hard labor after finding him guilty of malicious damage of property. And the two lawmakers are said to have, uh, while in the company of other people, bent to ashes a Mahindra vehicle belonging to the UPND Lwapula Youth Com I mean, Committee during the 2021 general elections. Others found guilty are uh, Kalumba Chifumbe and Devi Kaniki, uh, who have both been sentenced to five years, while Ronald Chitotera and Kaunda Chitotera and Chifubu Chitotera have been committed to the High Court for sentencing. So those sentences are yet to come from the High Court because they carry uh, a sentence that's, that's above 10 years. And then uh, Chief Etari weighed in to say, why is uh, Musa Mwenya, uh, why did Musa Mwenya remain chairperson of the Anti-Corruption uh, Commission Board if, the, uh, if uh, these issues uh, is raising uh, are true? And that data demanding uh, apology from Ma Maveta is not convincing. I think he, uh, he knows something. So, and then uh, Simon Mulenga, this is a lawyer and the Socialist Party should be in the legal committee in the social party for Fred Member. He says, my, my question too, he should have uh, left before uh, the board was dissolved. Otherwise, kudos to the, Dr. Dr. Mbushi, State Council, who, was, um, the, who did the honorable thing. So people are asking to say, now that Musa Mwenya has pretty much been fired by President Haka in the HTML when he dissolved that board, this is when now he's speaking against the president or pretty much allegations. He, he's been making a lot of uh, statements since the board was dissolved. So people ask him to say, so uh, had the president not uh, dissolved that board, he simply would have kept quiet. <laughs> you cannot be a righteous person after, after fact. It's supposed to be proven when you're in the thick of things. So the fact that he did not resign, it looks like he was fired. It, it doesn't sit well with the general public. People are like, nope. So these are some of the allegations. This was in the Daily Nation. Corruption fight, selective. This is Mwenya saying, uh, saying that he demands the dismissal of the investigations, arrests, and uh, persecution of all corrupt government officials serving in the current administration as he challenges those serving in public offices to declare their assets and financial dealings. So that's part of the statement that Musa Mwenya has issued after uh, the Anti-Corruption Commission Board was dissolved by President Naga in the HTM. So people are asking, why didn't he do that? Well, tell me was, uh, I, don't, I think he was chairperson of, uh, yes, he was chairperson of the SEC board. So he waited until after fact. So people are just asking questions to say what's going on there. Uh, the news diggers say they, they manipulated SEC. Mwenya. This is, these are still statements that are coming from Mwenya. People are quoting him. He's been trending in a couple of hours, almost uh, taking over from Sylvia Masego News. And then that's what's in the other, this is the day of revelation. And then uh, this is also in the mass. They say HH has been uh, undressed. A lot of ministers and senior government officials need to be fired. Moyo. So uh, that's the news, ladies and gentlemen. That's what's going on. If anything else comes up, I'll keep you posted. Have a good night.